Let me get right to it. So the Senate assault weapons ban, it's Diane Feinstein. She's been around four decades, guys, not four. Well, maybe four decades, maybe five decades. Um, S-25 is the bill. S-25 is the assault weapons ban bill, guys. They're going to want to look for their... Uh, if you want to look it up on uh, the Senate website or congress.gov, 41 co-sponsors in the Senate. Now, remember, Democrats control the Senate with 51 votes. Um, but keep in mind, over in the Senate, in the last Congress, we had over a dozen senators vote for gun control. About 10 of them still remain. So I don't want to hear anything from anybody saying, well, that can't happen. Well, of course it can happen. If the mass shooting is bad enough, if the media makes a big deal enough of it, of course it could happen. So don't tell me that we need to sit back and do nothing. Of course it could happen. Now, over in the House, the so-called assault weapons ban introduced by this guy from Rhode Island, hardcore left-wing communist by the name of David Cicilline. He's a real sissy, if you know what I'm saying. Um, he was a guy who in the, I think it was assault weapons ban hearings last summer in the Congress, he breaks out this big poster behind him of the pistol brace. And to be honest with you, I don't even know how he, he humiliated himself, but um, Congressman uh, Massey, sorry, somebody sent me a message. Congressman Massey of Kentucky, uh, pointed out the fact that he was making a fool of himself. I have to go back and watch that video actually, but in the house, there are a total, there are a total of 200 co-sponsors, including Cicilline. Now, takes 218 votes to pass in the house. Push came to shove. Democrats would have all their Democrats voting. They would have them all. They have 213 Democrats right now. So do the numbers, add them up. That puts them, what, five votes short. Now, over in the House, you have a guy named Brian Fitzpatrick from Pennsylvania. Mike Turner um, from uh, bah, 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 Ohio. David Joyce, I believe, is from Ohio, too. Correct me if I'm wrong. You got a bunch of New York congressmen. You have about 15 Republican congressmen in the, in the House who represent districts that Biden won in 2020. So they're immediately going to be scared of anything um, publicly. Like I said, if there's a big, giant mass shooting and the media makes a big deal about it or a series of them like happened during the Trump years, right? Um, when Trump was pushing for red flags. Who remembers President Trump pushing for red flags? I do. Um, so the point there being, yes, the Republicans control the House. Kevin McCarthy is the Speaker of the House. He has enough people on his right flank. Remember the 20 who forced all the concessions out of McCarthy. Remember the 20. Remember the 20, guys. Um those folks uh, are, are, would not let him do it, period. Now, there is something in the House called a discharge petition. That means if you get enough people, i.e. 218 people to sign a discharge petition, which is humanly possible on a so-called assault weapons ban, you have to wait 30 legislative days. You have to wait 30 legislative days. Um. To, to do that, if you get to 218, if there were a bad enough mass shooting, certainly it could happen. So what we're asking everyone to do all across the country is go to a website, write this down if you need to. I'm putting it down here at the bottom. StopAWB.com. Here at the American Firearms Association, we are collecting 500,000. That's our goal over the next few weeks. 500,000. 500,000 petitions against the assault weapons ban. Stop AWB.com. There's a man, Stuart, from Macon, Georgia, is in the house. Um, sign that petition, guys. Chip in if you can. We're spending big all over right now to mobilize gun owners against gun control in any form, not only at the federal level, but really at the state level as well, guys. So sign your petition there. If you want to join up with us, join up at joinafa.org, www.joinafa.org. Get in the battle today. 
Get in the battle today, guys. Join up as soon as you can. S25, Diane Feinstein in the Senate. HR 698 is David Cicilline over in the House. Uh, combined 241 members out of 435 support a so-called assault, or, or out of 535 between the House and Senate support a so-called assault weapons ban. Get in the battle today. Sign your petitions. Make your calls. Join up today as a member of the American Firearms Association. I'm Patrick Parsons with the American Firearms Association. Stay active. Stay mobilized. Stay involved. Never back down from what you believe in. Never apologize for what you believe in. Let's win these battles, not only in the House and the Senate and state capitals and courtrooms across the country. Guys, we will talk to you next time on the American Firearms Association Live. Be back tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.